yeah, very exciting. Uh, um, it's going to be a big year for us and a massive challenge ahead, but one we're all really looking forward to. Yeah, it's very exciting. I think um, for me as well, it'll be my first 50 over World Cup after missing the last one through injury. So really excited to be part of the squad and yeah, looking forward to getting over in, in the UK. Going into a World Cup in foreign conditions like England probably makes my mind settle a bit more knowing I've played a lot of cricket over there and adapted well to their conditions. So hopefully that holds me in good stead when we head over there. Well, I think any major tournament is like a huge honour and 50 over World Cups only come around every four years and the last thing to, to tick off in terms of um, high profile tournaments and yeah hopefully play well and, and we can kind of retain our world number one ranking. Obviously England's been the benchmark and then you've got teams like the West Indies who won the T20 World Cup last year. Yeah well you can't really go past England and New Zealand. There could be a surprise packet of South Africa there as well that um, yeah they've really showed some strong performances over the last 12 to 18 months. New Zealand have come a long way in the last couple of years as well and, and I think those two teams especially have some absolute world-class players in their side that can sort of take the game away from you at any moment so I think for me those are the two teams that we really need to watch out for. Well Jess, big couple of months coming up, thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks Beth and good luck. Thank you, thanks for having me.